Good morning and welcome to another Take 5, where members of the congregation, uh, maybe for a few seconds or maybe for a few minutes, give us their thoughts, musings, uh, learnings from this period of lockdown. This morning we've got uh, Jean Matthews, uh, followed by Jonathan Vera and then Catherine Keach. Jean is going to take us on a path. Uh, Jonathan will uh, continue that same journey with a new rendition that he's recorded during lockdown for us. What a friend we have in Jesus. Uh, and then Catherine is going to uh, lead us out with her thought from Psalm 23. So over to Jean. Hello everyone. Today I'd like to tell you the story of a path. There used to be a path going through Wanash Common Woods that went off the Downslink path towards Chilworth. That path, along with the others in that wood, got destroyed three years ago or so, when Surrey County Council did quite a lot of work in thinning the wood. The idea was to make better habitats and uh, restore the wood for future generations. But in the process, there were quite a lot of fallen trees and all the chippings meant that there was a new covering to the floor of the wood and all the paths were lost. Horse riders helped to restore the bridleways, so the Downslink path got quickly reinstated. But this path going towards Chilworth from the Downslink was lost. I tried to find a way through once or twice and had found myself going through brambles and holly and all sorts of things and met by fallen trees. But Colin and I thought that during the lockdown, actually trying to find the path properly would be a good thing to do. We would benefit and other people could as well. And in the middle of a wood, away from other footpaths, uh, we wouldn't have to do any social distancing. And that proved to be the case. We knew from the ordinance survey map where the path should start and where it should finish. Finding the route in between uh, was rather more difficult. We had to go one step at a time, try to see what was the best way. We got lost several times and couldn't find where we'd been. But eventually we found a way of marking the path where we thought the route should go by using some of the fallen logs and branches to help define it. And gradually we were able to clear quite a bit of the way through. At this stage, uh, we asked for some help. Christine Sweeting is also a volunteer footpath warden, as I am. And so we enlisted her help and together we or socially distanced together, we discussed what the best way through the holly was and what we could do about the trees that were still blocking the path. That's where Thieu Tang came in and his strength and expertise and equipment helped clear the remaining bits so that the path is now open. And Colin and I have been delighted by the fact that now we have started to meet other people using the path. So uh, last Monday we found a family doing so. And that was really lovely that it's something that not just we use as we walk to either Chilworth or to Shalford, but that other people can use and enjoy as well. So Colin would like me to do a six-point sermon, which goes something like believe there's a way through, start at the start, go one step at a time, be willing to ask for help, share the journey with all, and keep walking the way of course, or it'll disappear again.
what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything. Psalm 23 are very familiar and perhaps over familiar to many of us. The words have a special meaning to me as I spent a lot of time in early 2013 reading it to my mother during the last days of her life. They were a great comfort to me then as I feel certain they were to her. I found these same words a great comfort during the past few weeks which at times I found very difficult as I suspect many others have as well. So I'd like to read the psalm now. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. 
Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. There have been times over the last three months when lying down in green pastures and walking beside still waters has seemed very attractive indeed. In the midst of all the turmoil that's been going on with the COVID-19 pandemic, just being quiet and still in a beautiful, peaceful place has been something that many people have yearned for. We are lucky to live in a beautiful part of the country with lovely views and the ability to go for walks in the sunshine in the wonderful weather. For many people that is difficult to imagine if they are cooped up in a small flat with no easy access to anywhere peaceful or beautiful. We have also all at times probably yearned for inner peace, green pastures and still waters in our hearts and minds. And it's good to remember Jesus' words to his disciples in Mark 6, 31. Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So often it just seems so difficult to put aside our problems and worries and do just that. To come with Jesus to a quiet place and get some rest. But I have found that if we can make the time and space to be quiet and still, to just rest in God's presence and listen to him, it can refresh us, literally in the parts nothing else can reach. There have been many people, some known to us, who have literally walked through the valley of the shadow of death in the last three months. Either death caused by the pandemic or for other reasons, which have been made so much more distressing because of the restrictions imposed on us. The need for human comfort has not always been able to be met at a time when we need it the most, and it's made the grieving process all the more painful. The words of Psalm 23 remind us that Jesus walks with us in our grief, comforting us and giving us strength in these difficult and challenging times. I hope that this psalm will bring you hope and comfort in whatever you face today and in the days ahead. <laughs> 